It's my birthday and I want to make myself a baby Yoda cake, which is a completely reasonable and normal request for a 31 year old woman. Now the challenge here, other than the fact that I have absolutely no idea what I am doing and have never made a cake from scratch before, let alone decorated one, is that I live in an RV. But I am setting out to prove to the world that you can make anything in a tiny RV kitchen that you can make in a normal kitchen. And yes, before we go any further, I am in fact a huge Star Wars fan and I am aware that he is not actually Baby Yoda and that his name is Grogu, but let's be honest, it's not as catchy. So I took to the internet for inspiration and let me tell you, there are some truly horrifying Baby Yoda cakes out there. Once I landed on a tutorial that I felt confident that I could actually make and that wasn't complete nightmare fuel, I quickly realized that the cake layers were going to have to be baked the night before in order for them to cool for decorating. So that's what we did last night. All right, I reached out to my friend Bree, who also lives in an RV and is very familiar with cooking in a tiny kitchen. So I'm going to use her recipe and attempt to make a cake from scratch, which I've done a total of zero times. So this is gonna be good. Honestly, if like someone asked me how to do this, I don't actually know. I just keep sticking this lip thing in here and pushing this in until things happen. <laughs> it's like patting your head and rubbing your tummy, you know what I mean? In a large bowl, yeah. cream the sugar. <laughs> you're gonna keep blending it and you're gonna add the eggs and the yolks. I prefer no shells, thank you. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> two and two thirds of one cup. Oh my gosh. <laughs> These little, little pans are gonna require multiple layers for this cake, so. There's one. And there's two. So she said to just keep an eye on it because RV ovens are kind of weird. And as soon as a toothpick comes out clean, it's done. Baby Yoda, baby Yoda. <sighs> okay. Moment of truth. They look just like muffins. I mean, that's pretty freaking clean. Okay. Okay, now I'm gonna let them cool. I'm gonna wrap them in plastic saran wrap and they're gonna go in the fridge for the night. And then we're gonna make a baby Yoda cake tomorrow. Am I right, Keith? Yes. Now I have three perfect little cake layers that are chilled and ready to be stacked. But first I must acquire my homemade frosting. Yes, it's true. I already made this frosting off screen earlier and it's a homemade recipe using milk and powdered sugar and vanilla extract and butter. So we have to try to get this frosting to the color of Baby Yoda. That's pretty dang good. Okay, the tutorial for making the Baby Yoda cake was pretty vague on how to stack cake, but I've watched Cake Boss before. This is why you always need an assistant in the kitchen. Little shoulder buddy Yoda may have been cuter than you, but he was not this helpful. Cuter than me? I think that's an amateur's cake. <laughs> All right, I'm really excited to make Fondant because. What is it? Fondant. 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 Fountain. Fa when I found out that it's actually not as complicated as I thought it was, I got really excited. I got even more excited about this baby Yoda. What is even the purpose of, of making the fondant? Wait. Because we're gonna make his ears. Oh. Mm hmm. Okay. <laughs> well. <laughs> Yeah, so much. Stir the marshmallows with a rubber spatula until they are melted and smooth. And <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right, I'm getting in there with my hands. Okay. Honestly, this is pretty cool. Once you get past the absolute mess, which as a 31 year old, I can get past. I live with you every day. Do not lie. Don't accept her lies. I think that's pretty good. Yeah, yeah, I like that. You know what will make it better though? What? Now make that just smaller. Yeah. Now we're gonna frost him again. One more frosting. One more frosting. Are you nervous? Yeah. Well, it's only one thing to do. Ah! 
Yeah, scream and put it on. That's exactly it. How's it look? It looks like you've put about 10 pounds of frosting on the bottom. Oh my gosh, it looks just like Baby Yoda. This is the only part of the tutorial that I found that I'm actually using, because I kind of went rogue on his body, but I'm just gonna stick the stick in there and then push this one just on top. I'm so excited. Okay, give okay. us the big reveal. Well, here he is. <laughs> I cannot believe how good this turned out. You, you cannot tell me that you expected it to look this good. I mean, honestly. I hope that I've given you some confidence if you are considering attempting a Baby Yoda cake because look, if I can make this, anybody can make it. And kitchen size clearly does not matter. I hope you enjoyed watching me create my 31st birthday cake. And if you had a good time here, please consider subscribing. We put out new videos on most Fridays and I'll see you on the next one.